So the benefit of having a waterfowl sanctuary is having water. Here's our stream here, and it's actually really low, which is good for the best testing, because I think it's easy to gather water up. Look how pretty these are. It's easy to gather water when there's a lot of water. But here we have all kinds of little trickles. And I'm gonna test stuff out, and then I'll do my best to take photos or whatever. I think everybody knows that the knock bag works pretty well under a trickle. And I know you can open the back up too and scoop up. But I'm not lined up at a good trickle. There's one. This would be way easier with two hands, but Again, the back of the bag opens up, so if you're working from a puddle, you can scoop water. Oh, I can't do it with one hand. This is way easier with two hands, but squeeze in the bag, fill in the bottle. Pretty simple. Here's the new bottle. I'd probably take this string off because it would just catch on everything, but we're going to do the same thing. Uh, so it's not as flexible at the top. This is hard. So it's a little trickier to get into the flow. Let me try it in a couple different spots. I don't know if that's actually filling or not. Because it doesn't press down flat. So I'm trying to actually do some where I scoop. But I will say the shape of the hard plastic top does inhibit scooping, which is upsetting because I really wanted this to work. I'm going to try up in the puddle now. All right, I will say it's really easy to use one-handed, not that I would ever have to use it one-handed, but it is a lot easier to squeeze into the bottle. Check that out. So I actually really love the actual filtering part of the job. Look at that. That was actually quicker than the other bag. And I love that you can fill this whole thing up and count it as one of your leaders in your backpack rather than having an empty bag of useless weight. Fill it with water. But I gotta practice more with this and see if I can get it to work better. Okay, so when I put down the phone, I was easily able to scoop from that puddle right there and from the spout too. I just needed two hands to do it. It's not quite as easy as this because this fits in areas easier but I was able to manipulate it or even use a leaf over a stream to aim into it so I am really loving this but I'm going to keep practicing with it in small shallow water supplies so let's move up here's a good stream I'm gonna mess with this and see if I can get it to work here's me trying to fill with the because this is so hard, it doesn't flatten out. But let's see if I can fill it. I might be able to create something with skunk cabbage, but I don't know. You know, people make these fountains with leaves, and I'm like, what if something's a poisonous leaf? I don't know if I want water tasting like skunk cabbage. <laughs> so, yeah, see this? much harder to use in shallow water, which is explaining why everyone's using the other one. It's just not gonna, not gonna work. So in very shallow water, I was not very successful at scooping up water in the bottle, but the bag of course opens up, enables you to fill it up. Filtered water. Our stream water is good. Without a doubt, the answer was, if you don't have guaranteed fast flowing deep water, this is the bag you want. Shallow streams, it's the only one that's gonna work. This, this piece is just too hard to fit into. I wish they had somehow figured out a way to use soft plastic at the top, because then this would have been amazing because it's so much easier to use when filling the water bottle. It's like one-handed as opposed to two and 
it saves you the weight because you're using it as one of your water bottles rather than stowing this. But this is what's going with me for sure.